Hello everyone and welcome to another app review. I'm Victor Fitzgerald and I'm going to be walking you through a game that I have been loving to play ever since it came out and that is Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. Now that being said I am terrible, terrible at card games uh, and this is no exception. I use decks that I've found on the internet uh, and that I enjoy to use but I definitely lose more than I win. I generally never complete all of my quests because I don't win enough uh, during the day, but I continue to stock up gold and resources as I play the game so that when new expansions come out, I can unlock them with all of the things that I have and generally accumulate all of my decks. Now, when you first log into the game, uh, it's going to ask you to log in with a Battle.net ID if you have one from playing Warcraft or Starcraft throughout the years, uh, you should be all set. Now, once you log in, you're going to be presented with today's quests. Uh, there are only ever three of them. You can add more as you complete more quests, um, but what you're going to see is that you earn small amounts of gold as you go. Now, since the most recent expansion has come out, I'm going to go ahead and start this review by showing you the collection and how you can view cards and build decks. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and jump into a battle and we'll probably call it quits before I get totally destroyed in a ranked game. Now I'm gonna go ahead and view my collection. Again, I've been playing for a while, so I have most of the elite cards. I don't have all of them. Um, I also am pretty well on my way to getting all of the Goblins versus Gnome deck, um, which again, I am just missing a few of here and there. What you generally do as you progress through the game is you create a deck of cards and you collect cards for various abilities and types of characters that you have in the game. Now I tend to like my uh, Murlocs uh, just because I feel like they stack well together if played correctly. Um, so that is my chief way of playing. But I also really enjoy uh, Shaman from the World of Warcraft line. Uh, I just am terrible at playing with my ShamWow Shaman on Hearthstone. Now I'm scrolling through these cards rather quickly. Uh, you can view them all on the Facebook group for Hearthstone. Um, as you can see, I got some great legendary cards and some great foil cards. Uh, I'm kind of skipping ahead rather quickly here because I want to highlight one of my epic cards that I managed to score out of a normal pack, uh, which is Mim Iron's Head, um, and I got the Foil Legendary Edition, uh, which I'm very happy about. I never expected to see that one uh, in real life without paying for it. Now, I did score quite a few cards, but I'm going to go ahead and run an old Murloc deck for you guys to see basic gameplay. I'm going to do a gameplay in a ranked game, uh, which you can do by playing. There is an expansion that is a raid instance uh, where you can go through and compete against bosses on your own uh, or using specific decks generated by the game to unlock more cards and more abilities for your specific uh, characters and their abilities. Now, some of the achievements and Things like that that you'll run across in this game are very difficult to come by. Um, the one that I am thinking at, about at this moment is the golden character. Um, and what you get with the golden character is a 500 win bonus. Uh, where basically your character becomes a foil character and you get to have bragging rights about having 500 wins. And that's basically it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you gameplay. Basically all you do is you play cards. Um, you play cards with various abilities. Um, taunt is always a good one, which means that characters must attack that card before they engage in attacks against any other set of cards. Um, so I've got several of those right now, um, which is great. I also pulled a couple of Murlocs, uh, which I'm happy about, and Murlocs that will play well with each other. Um, three Murlocs on my starting deck is a great way to go. You're going to notice you spend a lot of time waiting for your opponent to choose their cards and engage you 
in battle. It takes a while. Some people like to think uh, I generally have my next move planned several in advance uh, so that I can go ahead and just engage as soon as it is my turn. Perfect. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and charge in uh, with my Bluegill Warrior, uh, which allows me to attack directly and sacrifice the Bluegill to remove a lot of the life of that Void Walker. Again, this is similar to card games that you would play like Magic the Gathering and things like that, where you play and you cast minions that do your fighting for you. A uh, good strategy is to have enough cards on the deck to out-compete all of your opponent's characters. Um, keep in mind that there will be magic that each character can play. Um, so that was a good magic card that you just saw, where my opponent sent out a murloc, or a health and attack boost, uh, making it impossible for my character to defend. Now that is the basics of gameplay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this game off camera, so feel free to tune in for more videos. If you have any questions about this game or about other games that we've reviewed, feel free to leave a comment on this video or join our other reviews and other commenters at victorfitzgerald.com. Thanks for tuning in.